uh, we last last we left off, we were talking about the uh, uh, Linnaeus, and his image is kind of iconic for the Linnaean games. And uh, could you tell me a little bit about the origin? Is, is that are you responsible for that? Or? I'll have to take credit for that. Well, the idea was that we wanted a name that would be recognizable by entomologists, and certainly the whole area of taxonomy. And we're talking about Linnaeus as being the founder of uh, binomial nomenclature, and so we thought that just makes sense. And plus, it kind of had the ring to it. Like like a, a very a festive kind of a, of a thing. So the, the Linnaean Games, you know, just we like the ring of that. So. Mm -hmm. Jay, uh, you're one of the founders of the Linnaean Games, is that right? No. Uh, tell us a little, about the, a little bit about the history then. The uh, Games were set up for the North Central Branch by uh, Tom Turpin, C. Richard Edwards, and Jim Shaddy. C. Richard Edwards was also a Purdue, as is Tom. And Jim Shetty uh, was a faculty member at Northeast Missouri State, now Truman State up in Kirksville, Missouri. But the, uh, the games were set up for the North Central Branch, and Tom Turpin's primary responsibility was to be the games master. Now, uh, uh, Dr. Turpin, you wear many hats. Some are big and some are small. Uh, one of those hats is the, uh, uh, the, the, the games master at the Linnaean, at the Linnaean games. Um, now... Uh, are, are you going to be doing that again this year? I will be doing the finals the this finals, year. The uh, finals. Yeah. I actually had conflicts with a couple other presentations for the preliminary rounds, but, but I'll be back for the finals. Right. Now, what about the uh, pubic louse? Oh, yeah. How did that get in there? Well, uh, we, we were looking for something that Linnaeus had described, and uh, we thought, well, to make it, uh, keep in the idea of a festive kind of a thing that, oh, the pubic louse, that would work really good. And so we had an artist to actually uh, do that rendering of, of Linnaeus, uh, actually looking through the magnifying glass and describing that particular insect. So. Who writes the questions? Question, there is a committee that gathers the questions together, and eventually after they've assimilated them, they send them off to Tom Turpin, or to for the the uh, for the North Central Branch, they go to um, Wyatt Hallbeck, and then they go through them, and then I look them over to try and I copy edit them to make sure they're as clear as possible. Do you get to uh, uh, create any of the questions for the Lane Games? Well, part of the job of being the the uh, Linane Games uh, moderator is that you sort of handle the questions and, and get them into the, the various games. Mm -hmm. And because people who write questions don't always think about how you have to read them, mm -hmm. uh, we sometimes modify them a little bit to make them uh, understandable as they are read for the, so that the teams have a better opportunity to answer the questions mm -hmm. correctly. Mm -hmm. How many years have you been a judge? Oh, somewhere between 20 and 30, I would imagine. Are there any other interesting things that people might want to know about the games themselves? Be prepared. <laughs> Because the questions, the questions come from all different fields of entomology. You never know, you never know where those questions are going, going to, which ones are going to show up. Have the games evolved at all since the beginning? In the beginning, I guess is what seventy three or so. Uh, no, the the uh, the first the first exams were, or the first uh, competition were around eighty two, eighty three, somewhere in that neighborhood. Oh, eighty two, eighty three. Yeah, somewhere around there. Have they evolved since then, or have I don't they know remained if they the have. same? I think that the the um, competition level has gotten better but the I think the teams have always been pretty competitive all right it happens that this particular year which is 2009 the competition was really good really good well I appreciate your time with us and thanks for uh, uh, taking time to, uh, to talk well thank you very much I appreciate it yes.